it. I'll let it know for the season. Let's see what happens and see how they operate. And then, you know, the coach can base a decision or, you know, which direction we want to go. You know, because sooner or later, within, within the next five years, we really need to have a plan in place on how we're going to replace these existing street lamps that we have now and then what are they going to be replaced with. How did those street lamps show up on your bill, by the way? Did you just get a, a whole cost for them? Uh, they're actually... Is there any here? It's, what is it, a 25 rated that they call them? Yeah. And I would double check to make sure that you, there is a price difference on that item. <coughs> Being that's not metered, right. make sure that there is actual savings. Well, where do they have to go to ComEd? Correct. And they, they will adjust. Right. They will? Yeah, it's okay. per, per uh, watts used. Okay. Right. And so they'll adjust it on the rate, so. Diane Emerson's our rep right now. Yeah, each okay. Each street light has its own account. So we get, I don't know, I'm pretty sure that's the way it goes. Each street light has its own account. You know, depending on what the wattage is, I mean, all of the, the 175s, they're all going to be the same. Right. They're the same price. But now, when we start changing them out, so let's say if, if we're going to do the village of thirds, we're going to have to identify which third that's been replaced contact comment and say, okay, we have switched this 175 with a, a 60 or an 80 or what that is, so that adjustment can be made on, on the bill. Oh, so they're not contactors, they're all auto sales? Yes. Okay. Gentlemen, is there any benefit to the village of giving you each three? Most definitely an advantage. Because I'll wind up the other three. Well, we, we see which product does the best over our test period? Sure. Sounds good to me. Yeah. I have a product like Fox Lake, if you want to look at it now. I have a product in Barrington. I have a product in Leonardhurst. Um, well, I have a product in Plus It's not just a product so much as product and service and uh, how, the, how your company does, how Chris Electric does. Well, make no mistake, I'll still be well, installing your face. He's a little contractor. I'll still be installing that, yeah. 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 so. Like I said, to me, it doesn't matter which one you go with, because um, I have very minimal markup. I just I've seen in a, in a contractor standpoint, and a lot of argument is done with yeah. labor. If, if I may, um, I'm going to ask the board if they have any further technical questions to ask either these gentlemen. Otherwise, I think it would be easier for us to hash out the rest of this if you two are willing to leave at this point. Sure, this is comfortable with that. Any more technical <laughs> questions? Okay, all right. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. You'll hear from us shortly. All right. Just to reiterate, was that an eye on the generators? Yes. yes. Okay. Just let me know. The one for across the way is four and a half weeks out. The one for here is four weeks out. Due to the fact that my shipping costs, I'm going to be getting both of them in about four and a half weeks. But that's the sandy. It's beyond my control. So as soon as I get them here, they'll be here. I'll twist my arms right at the generation of customers. You know, the, the funny part is, is I offer to go get them. They will actually charge me more for me to pick them up than they will to ship them. Oh. Due to a company policy, a manual order cost me another thirty dollars, but it'll cost me more to pick them up than they will have them ship. So. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. you betcha. Thank you, Eddie. Have a good holiday. You too. You know, I'm going to run and grab a cup of coffee. <laughs> Does anybody else want any favor or need to use the restroom? Okay, and then we'll finish up. We're almost done. Taking orders from the other person. Action. I have some comments to you. Uh, first of all, um, Eric did turn in a, uh, a quote on his uh, Cobra head. And the price that he quoted was after the Deco um, rebate. So there's a significant difference in cost between um, Chris's and, I mean, Eric's and Jim. But I sold computers years ago when they first came out, and nobody knew anything about anything. And I could spend hours with a potential customer, finding out what their needs are, working 
got a system for them and the software that they needed. And then they would go out and get a quote from somebody else that took no time whatsoever except to run the numbers. And, um, and I didn't think that that was an ethical thing to do. I mean, it's not ethical, maybe that's not the right word. But uh, I just didn't think it was right because you're using all the time and effort and information that someone's giving you and not recognizing their efforts in allowing them to have the say. Jim has been out here at the Public Works Committee meeting with uh, samples and explaining everything. He's been out here walking around and looking at the various locations of the Cobra heads. He's worked with me with the possibility of uh, the street lights so that he I and mean, his company has access to uh, street lights that we have found of interest. And if, and, if, um, and the fair is going to put it in anyway. I think that it's important that we acknowledge the effort that Jim and, and time and um, concern that he has put forth in working with me and the village by giving him the order for the for the companies. I have to disagree with you on Georgiana, Georgiana prices. Uh, Chris Electric's price includes installation, whereas no, uh, no, it it's got labor. It's a price. For, it's got labor. Oh, that's removal at six. Okay, so the difference. Uh, Chris Electric on the Cree fixture is 420 per fixture yes. and 412 yeah. right. per fixture. But, but look at the wording that's after the deco discount or rebate. I don't see that. Yeah, yeah. I don't see that's not there. Oh, that's above it. And the first line, the first word says quality eight. This is removed six, 175 <laughs> watt. And then right there it says. Uh, Oh, after rebate. After rebate. Okay, so it is the after the, after the rebate. So okay, I stand corrected. That's a significant difference. But I think that, that what, we need to recognize the effort that he's put in on the village we have. But I also look at Georgia. Now, did you uh, did you ask Chris to give you a quote on, on this? And no. Look before, before, well, what I'm saying is, did you just go to Jim and say, okay, this is it? Or did you ask, also ask Chris? Or another company to come in and give a demonstration on those on those LEDs. No, no. Well, the, well, we worked with Sternberg Lighting. We started with Sternberg Lighting, and then it migrated to to Jim. To yeah, Jim. Because we talked to a few other companies in between that didn't want to give us the time of day because we're small that's, potatoes. That's, well, that's why I'm just wondering. Yeah, wondering yeah. Well, we just, Jim Zimmerman is, is one of the. He lives in Lakeville. He's, he's but, you know, okay, I, uh, well, what I want to say is that, okay, a person being nice is great, but the thing is, is the, the product. We have to look at the product. So look at, look at, when you look at the salesman, it's a salesman, but when you look at the product, you have to determine which is the best of the two. And that's what I go by. And I understand the effort and the time that you put in it. And I'm not saying, and I'm just saying anything bad about Jim, I'm just saying is I want to find out the process of it because I don't understand why we have this here today and we had two people competing for a bit. Uh, That's what what I was happened thinking. was Jeff called Eric to find out what he would charge us to install these and he volunteered to come up with this price to put in this equipment. I mean to supply. Yeah, you know what? Let, let me back up a minute, everyone. All right, let's back up a minute. Okay. Back in 2009, at the first IML conference, after I became mayor, uh, we were at a Sternberg lighting exhibit. We got information over the past couple years. We've talked on and off to Sternberg lighting. Uh, Trustee Duberstein and Jeff Gately and I even drove down there and looked at their showroom. I think Trustee Duberstein came back down yeah, we later on. Yeah. yeah. All right. 
And then we've talked to several other companies about LED lighting, most of which are happy to maybe send us a catalog, send us an email, but because of the size of our community and our lights, don't want to spend a whole heck of a lot of time with us. And that's what uh, finally led to Jim Zimmerman, who I will acknowledge has spent a lot of time and has been very dedicated. And I think he has a decent product. Now, that being said, we thought this, we didn't make a big deal since it's only six Cobra heads to go out and get extensive pricing. Uh, we asked Chris Electric what the charge for installation would be. And when Chris Electric came back with the quote, he said, by the way, I'm also quoting for a fixture that I'm aware of that I have worked with. And that's how this other quote came about. So it was at the last minute. And at the last minute, I even called Georgiana or sent her an email. And I said, you may, because Jim wasn't going to even be at the meeting. I said, you better ask Jim to be here because Chris Electric was already going to be here because of the generators. Because it was a surprise we got a quote for another fixture. LED is pretty So I just give you back. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah, want to give you back. I just, just, I felt it was kind of awkward that well, we were here. Um, well, LED. A lot of times you have several people here. Or well, don't you have it before you're going to make a decision? Yeah. Question from the Do you know what I'm saying? It, I, I guess if it was a larger purchase, yes. I, I mean, also, let's remember Chris Electric. Let's go with what we think is the best recommendation. Chris Electric just got a generator contract. They do a lot of work in our village. And I don't think Chris Electric will be sliding if they don't think it's fixed. No, no. Kelly, yeah, Kelly? The other thing is that... Um, Georgia, Kelly's yes from the floor. I'm sorry. Just, I'm just re-looking at Chris Electric's thing. His quantity says eight, but in the verbiage it says remove six. It, it's eight hours. Eight man hours. Eight man hours. So he's doing eight man hours times the labor of ninety nine ninety. So it's right. not yeah. six right. times right. a unit. Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to clarify. Yeah. 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 Everybody's yeah. asked that question. Yeah. Okay. okay, I can't find, and I just might not be listening, looking at the right spot. Uh, Ms. Enterprises with DCEO, what is the cost per unit? Four twelve, right on the front page. Okay, and right. then there's and down, again then I. Four, I Fourth, fourth thing up from the bottom. 420. Okay, so 412 is what I saw. And Chris Electric's is 420 after rebate. After rebate. It's okay, 412 so before rebate. What is Ms. Enterprise's cost after rebate? 1400, 1442 divided by 6. 200 and 200 something dollars. 200 something dollars. Thank you. So the only other question I have. $8 difference. No, 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 That's a question. It's after rebate. All right. My question is, is that I've never heard of Evolution Lighting, but I've heard of Cree. Cree is probably the premier leader in the whole entire LED industry. So is there going to be, now I know we need to have Jeff ask Chris or we need to have somebody ask Jim, what kind of hornet's nest is he going to run into when it comes time for installation of this product? Creed often um, is a supplier to many other companies. They're, they're not only um, a manufacturer of their own product. Creed makes LED lights themselves. A, few, a lot of these companies, they don't make the lights themselves. No, I know that. They, but the but Creed is a maker of the LED so that they're making so probably half if not more of all the LED lighting in the industry comes from Cree. Yeah. Anyway. So I, mean, I don't know whether it's the, the other thing too is that these may not be identical fixtures either because even Jim the night he was there, that there there's more than one product. You know, so whether they're, you know, you, you don't even know if they're the same. You, you know that, oh, you know, you, can, you know, we don't have any idea. I know what this one is because I was there when the man was there. He showed it to us. What, what Chris is, you know, I, I don't know if it's the same. I don't know if the two products are even the same. Is what I'm. Are we comparing apples to apples? Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. 